Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to automatically detect and capture gameplay in Streamlabs Desktop. If you don't already have Streamlabs Desktop installed, I'll leave a link in the description to download it. And I have some other tutorials if you need some settings and things like that. But if you want to add game capture, the first thing you want to do is have your game open as along with your Streamlabs program. In this example, I'm just going to use Minecraft. I just have a Minecraft title screen open here. Um, so it is running in the background. I'm just going to minimize it. Um, and then what you want to do is go to your scene, whichever scene you want to add the game to. And then we're going to go over to source and click the plus. And we're going to come down and click game capture. This is going to capture uh, games specifically. And it should, in most cases, give you the best performance compared to some of the other sources when you are trying to uh, capture gameplay. So we're just going to click game capture and then click add source. You can name it whatever you like. I just leave mine game capture and then we're going to click add source again. Now from here, you're going to have a few options. And I know some of these look complicated, but it's actually very simple. Just hang with me. Um, so with the mode, you can leave it on auto and it should capture whatever game you have up at the time and it will basically be on automatic. But if you want to make sure that it's on the correct game, you can actually click this and I recommend click capture specific window. And then as you can see, it goes to Minecraft 1.2, uh, yada, yada. And that's actually the one that we want it on because that is our game program. So basically by doing it this way, you can just manually select the exact uh, game that you want to have on there so that it doesn't automatically detect anything else if you were to have something else running at the same time. Most people are not going to need to touch any of these other settings unless you do want to check mark capture third party overlays such as Steam. Um, in case you do want to show your Steam overlay or maybe your Nvidia overlay or some of these other third party overlay programs that are out there. But if you don't want to show that you can simply leave this unchecked and it's perfectly fine. If you are having trouble with game capture when you're trying to capture gameplay, there are a couple other options you can do. So they're basically just other sources. So if we open up the sources again, you're going to have a couple options here if game capture is giving you issues, which sometimes it will have a black screen or just give you certain issues, which can sometimes be solved by updating or reinstalling the program or just simply restarting um, the source. But if it's not working with game capture, Here's a couple other things you can try. First of which is going to be window capture. Window capture works great at capturing a specific window um, of a game, very similar to using uh, game capture to capture a specific window uh, for a game. Um, you can also use display capture if none of those are working. Just keep in mind that with display capture, it's going to capture your entire monitor that it's set to. So just be careful you don't have any personal information on your computer, or on your screen. Um, if you do use a display capture, but for most people for games, game capture should work flawlessly and give you the best performance and work very, very easily. Keep in mind that things like this can happen where my Minecraft wasn't immediately showing up on game capture until I kind of maximized it and then I went into game capture um, and reselected it uh, right here just like that um, and made sure it did come up. And also keep in mind things like if you uh, minimize this a little bit, it's going to make it smaller in here. You can always just drag it around and uh, make it the size you want, depending on what uh, window size your game is. But uh, you can tweak around with that uh, as you like. But that's how you use game capture in Streamlabs Desktop. Again, if you want to download Streamlabs Desktop, I'll leave a link in the description that is an affiliate link and it helps support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.